Okay, for this video, I'm going to show you policies and how to, you know, assign it, give it the scope, and just, yeah, I'll show you. So you go to policy, or you could type in policy here. I'm not going to show you how to make the actual policies, but you just go to definitions and policy definition in there. I created one called new, new region policy. And anyway, so let's assign it. You could either go to sign policy here or you actually go to that policy and just select it. And then you could say assign. So we'll just do that. And when you say assign, it automatically puts it in here. If you did it the other way, then you have to choose which policy you want. And exclusions and stuff, but give it assignment name. And I want to be enforced. And it's just review and create or parameters. Let's just do whatever South Africa. We don't want, we don't need any of this. And we'll create it. So now it's been assigned. Cool. Um, now let's check compliance. So if you go here to compliance, it shows you uh, your states, if you're compliant or not. And yeah, it's just so basically if your policies are compliant or not, then you could do something about it. This is a default one, so I'm not worried about it, but this says not started. And it'll give you like a reason why and all that stuff, but since, let me just delete it. So anyway, um, Let's check the default one. Let's see what it says. Here's some steps to do to make it more compliant. See, these ones are already been done, so it's compliant, and some of it's like about security. And you click it, and it's like, okay, here's what you can do customer action. And then I'll evaluate it like, I don't know, once an hour or something. But anyway, that's just uh, a little bit more into policies, more than what I had in the video I made for the AZ900 playlist.